You were an early supporter of Donald Trump's. Uh, what do you make of this effort now from some who are calling for another candidate at this point uh, to bring another candidate about before the convention? Or at well, the convention? It, it's not many first, and a lot of it is not even that serious. Uh, Donald Trump has the nomination of the Republican Party. He won it by Republican voters who represent the Republican Party. And so we have some elected office holders who have different views and would like to have somebody else. But sorry, the people have decided. And it's time for us to get united here. And the fact that uh, uh, his style of speaking doesn't appeal to their sweetness, uh, but American people want some strength. They like his policies, that we're going to end the lawlessness of immigration. Why has Congress not done that in 30 years? Why not? It's time, I think, the American people are right. We're going to get somebody elected who's going to end this lawlessness and protect us and create a system that serves the American interest. And by the way, these trade agreements all hadn't been working so well. And uh, we want somebody who's going to stand up and protect our jobs, our wages, our manufacturing, and uh, so, sorry, some of people had different views. Their candidates lost. We got a, a strong candidate now that is going to win in November. He's going to bring in Democrats and independents in a larger degree than we've seen in many years. And that's the key to win. You cannot win with a narrow Republican base. You've got to reach beyond that base. And, and people are not happy with the... Um, uh, the way things are going in this country. They don't think Washington is paying attention to them, and they're sending a message and choosing a person they think will be different. Do you think it was right for Speaker Ryan to come out and say that uh, the controversy with the judge, Trump's controversy, is textbook racism, his, his take on it? Well, look, Donald Trump was uh, frustrated, and he said something he, he shouldn't have said. It wasn't uh, perfectly uh, uh, a good way to handle that, no doubt about it. But look, uh, there's a thousand, tens, hundreds of thousands of interviews and discussions and comments that he makes. The question is, is he advancing an agenda that's good for all Americans, working Hispanics, working African Americans, all minorities, poor white workers? Is he advancing an agenda that will make their lives better? I say yes. And uh, that is just the opposite of, of being biased. His agenda is hostile to the establishment, hostile to uh, global uh, wealth and billionaires, really, and positive for working people. Has the blowback that he's gotten from the comment about the Trump University judge hampered and hurt his immigration message, his position on illegal immigration? Well, there's no doubt that the Democrats particularly are seizing upon this to try to hurt him early, to take some of the strength out of his campaign, and it uh, was not helpful. But, uh, boy, there's a long way between now and November. And there'll be good days and bad days for both candidates, and Hillary Clinton's going to have some bad days, too. You know immigration, obviously, is going to be a huge issue. Hillary's going to say, we're the party of open arms. We will welcome everybody from all backgrounds. And then you're going to have Trump saying, we got to get tough. we got to build a wall. How is that message, Trump's message, going to to win the day when he when he's up against Hillary? Well, you're going to have a lawful system of immigration. Hillary Clinton is radical. Uh, we're at the highest level of immigration we've ever had. We've got the largest, soon we'll have the largest percentage of, of immigrant population America's ever had. We're not against immigration. We're not going to end immigration. What is this? But well, we've got this massive illegality. Uh, terrorists are exploiting it. We're bringing in so many people that it's pulling down wages for the American worker. Uh, the numbers are much larger than people realize. And e economic experts, Professor Borjas at Harvard has documented through careful study, it's pulling down wages. That's why people, wages are down. American working people's wages are lower today than they were in 2000. No wonder they're upset. And part of that is excessive flow of immigration, and part of it is bad trade deals that's exported our manufacturing. They have a right to be upset. Donald Trump says, I understand that. I agree with you. And we're going to make America great again. And I think that's the message that will be successful. And, and for immigrants, uh, they need to see some growth, too. Uh, I don't think 
the American immigrant population in any way favors massive lawlessness like we're having today.